All right, everybody. We've got St. Cloud State finalists, Coach Bob Motzkow. We got uh, Joey Benick and uh, Mikey Asamat. We'll start, Coach, fun. with you. I didn't think anyone thought it was going to be a defensive battle, but uh, that's what it sure turned out to be. Um, and it was a hard fought. Uh, it was a tough hockey game, and, and I think one that, that uh, playoff game kind of helps. I think that helps set the tone for what, what's to come uh, in the playoffs. So our, our guy, I liked everything tonight. We made timely plays. Uh, Denver came really hard in the third period, as you all saw, and we stopped making plays. That was the only thing. Is is we you know we iced the puck about four times, and little nerves got in there, and uh, we survived that. So I, I think that's the positive for uh, for us that we we got nervous, we survived it, and we got to grow from it. Bob, you talked on the media call earlier this week about uh, needing to be able to roll four lines, but also be aware when the Pacific Rim line was on the ice. Talk about. How you were able to completely shut that line down? I mean, Heinen had one assist, but you know they were pretty much a non-factor for most well, of the game. I, you know, we'll have to look back. I mean, Kosla's line, we, we tried to get them out as much as possible. Kosla's an outstanding two-way player, um, and, and I thought, like my first thing is we blocked, you know, two dozen shots tonight, maybe, <laughs> uh, and that was the the critical thing. I thought they had some good looks, and and. I'm on the bench going, oh, oh, this doesn't look good. And, and someone's sprawling and diving, and, and guys were selling out to, to block shots. That might be the critical thing. We were kind of buying in to, to having a very good defensive night. Mikey, Mikey kind of describe what happened on, on your goal. That was kind of, a, kind of an odd play there a little bit. Um, yeah, it was odd. Uh, Collie gave it to me behind the net, and um, I was able to uh, protect the puck and uh, bring it in. And um, when I saw, when I heard uh, Russell calling for the puck, I decided to hang on to it. and. Uh, Looked for a stick and uh, threw it at the net, and um, goal came from it. Did it go off to the back of the goal? Or? I actually, I actually can't remember. <laughs> Joey, on the one you set up, were you thinking of wrapping around there? Or, or? Uh, yeah, that was my my initial plan. And we got the puck deep, and Murray had a great wall battle, and he had he had two defenders on him, and and they came, kind of came off his left hip, and I, I snuck in there and grabbed the puck, and I was going to bring it around up front, and the last second I heard I heard Dave yell my my oh. name, so I just turned and threw it to him, and he had a wide open net. Dave's not going to miss all those. Mikey, does it get much better? Get the game winner in a playoff tournament against uh, your hometown team? Oh, yeah, it's uh, so far so good against uh, the Colorado teams. So, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it feels good, but I uh, can't, can't think about it too much right now. Joey, after what happened three weeks ago, do you guys feel like you all won to dilute it all? Uh, yeah, but we got to put that put that behind us. I mean, that was three weeks ago, like you said. And, and, and we got a we got a tough game tomorrow. It's going to be a war. It's uh, all, all four games we played them this year has, has been a battle. They're they're a good hockey team. They're they're just like us. They've got depth. They've got offense. They got a good goalie. So it's uh, it, it's going to make all for a war. And, and, and we'll get going and, and start it off tomorrow. Joey, talk about your goal a little bit. Did a quick face off win, obviously, uh, and got the puck back to Crowell there. Huh? Uh, yeah, it was good. It was Crowell has been great on draws. And like Coach said, he's a, he's a great two way player. And he, he won the draw, and we got it set up, and it was over on his side. He gave it to Prowl. I was coming up to the blue line with some speed, and I got the pass from Prowl. And then you got a guy like Russell in front of that. You don't really have to do much because he's, he's, he's taking away the goalie's eyes. So I just had to throw it on net there, and then and, uh, lucky enough, one in. Bob, you talked about uh, it turning into a defensive battle. Do you think part of that was that you guys were able to play with the lead for most of the game? No, I, I just – it really turned into a, like a ground game. It was just a hard, heavy – you know, get pucks deep and, and a lot of mucking on the down low and and uh, um, and we were trying to do that's how the you know Joey and Morley and, and Murray got that goal and we needed to do more of that. I thought I thought they had the advantage on that ground game. There just wasn't a lot of transition in the game tonight. So when the and and we we are a team that likes transition, but if it's all taken away, you've got to have special teams in a ground game. And and, I, and and we play down low with Mikey too. And, and that we have to find ways to score uh, uh, tough goals too. So I, I think that's just the way the game played out tonight. Bob, uh, uh, since the last time you played Denver, Mikey's taken a little bit of a climb up the line chart. Uh, I noticed. Uh, what can you say about his development throughout this season? <clears throat> well, I, I think we knew all along. You know. What, like you see all freshmen, you got, they got one over there too that the first half, you know, it's tough for freshmen the first half of the year. And to Mikey's credit, like Mikey was up there a couple times early and he, and uh, um, it wasn't going great, 
but he never got frustrated. And that's the thing. And he didn't lose any. He didn't lose uh, any confidence. Uh, it just wasn't there yet. And you know, then we kind of popped him down a couple lines. And then we all we, we all thought it was the, the uh, play he made at Denver right before Christmas, and we win two games at Denver. And you know, and then how many times you see these young guys come back after Christmas, and you know, it's the, the sky is blue, and they start playing. <laughs> and Mikey started to play, and we all saw it. And, and uh, He's been very, very good, um, just the process for a young freshman. Bob, you've talked a lot about how you feel Charlie started growing last year in December, how he's really been on fire since then. Do you still feel like he might have taken another step in the last few weeks? With we're we're going to see another one, too. Yeah, absolutely. The biggest thing for a goal is when your team and when his teammates and, and staff just have complete confidence in what Charlie can do. and. You know, he, he's fired up for the playoffs. Coach, we've had a lot of emphasis on the power play this year. What have you been liking, though, out of the penalty kill the past few weeks, especially tonight, too? Um, our penalty kill, it's a secret. It's been a lot better the second half, so let everybody keep telling us how bad we are. But, <laughs> so we've been a lot better on the penalty kill. Um, and, and we weren't all that bad the first half, either. It, if It was just a process, young defensemen, you know, figuring out the right guys. And, and um, you know, not to get into the detail of it, we're just playing with much more confidence when we when we have to kill a penalty, and that's that's a key component to it. And then you have Charlie back there. Jerry, what is it about you in postseason? You seem to pick up big goals, big points uh, in this time of year. I mean, it's always it's a, it's a fun it's a fun time to play, and, and, and with the atmosphere that uh, that our conference brings, I mean, this is a great tournament. And, and the fans, I mean, it's, it's, it's easy to play it in front of a lot of fans and, and with such high emotion. So, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a mixture of all of that and then everything's on the line. So, I mean, you gotta, you gotta give it all uh, every night you go out there. Joey, you made this uh, stage last year in fall to uh, Miami. You know, do you, do you and the upperclassmen feel like maybe there's a little bit of unfinished business from that last year in this tournament? Uh, yeah, there is. I mean, it's it's uh, each year it's gonna be it's gonna be so hard to, to, to win this this championship. It's a, there's there's so many good teams and so many teams that could win it every year. So I mean, it's a it's gonna be a war, and it's uh, I definitely say it's a uh, like you said, un unfinished business, and, and and we'll get it done tomorrow. Bob, what did you learn three weeks ago facing Duluth those two games, and what can you take into tomorrow? I, I, the biggest thing we learned is we didn't make one. Big deal. We didn't make a big deal out of it at all because it hadn't happened. Like, hadn't happened to us, you know, since Quinnipiac. And it was hard hockey. We saw a few things in there. The best thing we did is we just parked it. Um, and, and why late in the year should we make a big deal out of a, out of an off weekend? Because we trust our guys. We we like our hockey team. We just move forward and turn the page. And I think that's the best thing that we did. Duluth wasn't in the North Star Cup, so it's tomorrow the state championship. <laughs> Tomorrow is just another hockey game for us, and that's all. I mean, we're, you know, we, we keep saying take 16 games to win a Stanley Cup. We're, we got three now, and we just want to keep winning a game, game by game. Except they give a trophy at the end. <laughs> Anybody else?